pendulum, 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 pendulum.
Hello, and I hope you enjoyed the little replays. So, uh, this is apparently a thing now. Scraps with metal foes. And destroy... Mm, <clears throat> Enforcer. Uh, yeah, this deck is very explosive. Like, I think it's one of the most explosive decks I've ever done, and I love it. The fact that you can resolve Scrap Golem four to five times in one turn is something you don't uh, really do that much, even in the regular Scraps. So, this is one of the selling points for this. Since Golem's effect is so powerful, but without further ado, let's go through everything. We're playing, of course, Triple Scrap Golem, the Giant Fridge, everyone knows this one. We're playing one Scrap Beast, Triple Raptor, Double Shark, and one Goblin. That's for our Scrap Monsters. We're playing Shark because it can blow itself up easily, easy pacey. And send a scrap monster from the deck to the graveyard, basically setting up uh, the recycling effect of either goblin or beast. For our search power, we're playing triple scrapyard to get our hands on a beast, a raptor, or a goblin. Triple fossil deck to get our hands on a, a raptor, and tr three copies of Scrap Factory together with one scrap copy of Terraforming. So, the thing is, if we can get Scrap Raptor, we can use it to blow itself up, search a Scrap Factory, the normal summon Scrap Shock, <laughs> activate Scrap Factory and Scrap Shock will blow itself up via its own effect, triggering Scrap Factory. So this is one of the possible lines of play you can do in this deck. And last but not least, for our scrap side of the deck, we're playing double scrap storm. And this one can blow a scrap monster up, send a scrap monster from the deck to the graveyard, and draws one. Ha! Ah. This is very good for blowing stuff like Scrap Beast or Scrap Goblin. Especially Goblin after it's in defense mode, since it's gonna be destroyed by battle. During the end steps, during the end of the battle phase, when Goblin would have been destroyed, you can just flip Scrap Storm, destroy the Goblin, draw a card, send something like a Golem to the graveyard, and still Scrap Goblin will trigger Recycling the Golem. That is a line of play that you can do. I wasn't able to during testing, but it is something to take notice of. Next is our Metal Foes package. Oh, Metal Foes. They're so wonderful. We're playing very standard stuff. Triple Vault Lane, Triple Gold Driver, Triple Silver and Triple Steel. Nothing that's interesting. Just 12 norm normal monsters. We're also playing Double Painful Decision. This uh, gives us access to basically all of the low level ones, so Gold Driver is Silver than Steel. Searching your scales is very nice. And we're also playing Triple Summoner on this art so we can get those Vol Flames. So we're basically playing like 17 Metal Foes. About... About two-fifths, about 30... That's 17, 34% of the deck is a, is a scale, basically. So there is very little chance you don't open a Metal Foes. It's very, very slim. For our cards that we're going to set with the Metal Foes, we have Double Counter, Triple Combination, and one Fusion. And combination is very important since, as you saw in the replays, 
you can blow it up with your scrap wyvern, get a search for a scale you don't have, either low or high, and then pendulum summon the scrap golem. And that's how you get full scale. We're also playing the... Uh, the Destiny package with one Celestial, one Dasher, and double Fusion. To be perfectly honest, this is much better than Dragoon. At least in this... In this deck. Since Dragoon would require me to go into Anaconda, and Fusion Destiny doesn't do that. So I can go for some combos, Make stuff like Savage, Appaloosa, I don't know, Alkahast, Omega, and then activate Fusion Destiny to get my Destroy Beam Enforcer. So that's the basic idea for this. We have also one Cold by the Grave because fuck Ash Blossom. For our fusions, we have one Materium and one Alkahast that's quite self explanatory. For our synchros, and that is a big one, we have one Scrap Twin Dragon. This is here because it doesn't destroy, but it bounces, so it can bypass any sort of protection from destruction, although it does target, so any protection from targeting cannot be bypassed by my Scrap Monsters. We're playing one Gotham's because, well, hand loop. One Burl Old Savage Dragon, because it's Savage Dragon. One Ignista Prominence, the two Blasting Draco Slayer. This is here. Because. Gold Driver. Because Silvered and Steelen. There are ways to make it. There aren't that good. But it is still a thing that we can do. And it is non-destruction spin removal. So it can bypass something like Dragoon. Easy. One Omega because hand loop, one scrap dragon because uh, big destruction, big boy. Crab double wyvern because it's the best link monster the scrubs have. One Appaloosa because it's Appaloosa. One Unicorn because it's Unicorn, one Hulk Fabric because why the fuck not? And uh, our <clears throat> Enforcer package with one Anaconda and one Destroy P Enforcer. So I think this deck is fine. It has good moments, it has bad moments. I think it can still be worked on. It can be better. You can of course make it a 60 card, adding all the hand traps, but uh, I... But during testing, it didn't do that well. Having all those hand traps and this package. So if anything, you can just cut a few things here and there if you want to. Build upon this. I would love to see if anyone can actually do something with this. So that would be it for today and Remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Because I'm out. Peace.